أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد الأمين الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام الحمد لله على نعمة الإيمان الحمد لله على نعمة القرآن الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله لقد جاءت رسل ربنا بالحق صنوا على رسولنا محمد صنوا على شفيع ذنوبنا محمد صنوا على قرة أعيننا محمد اللهم صل على رسولنا محمد وعلى آل رسولنا ونبينا محمد بعدد كل داء ودواء وبارك وسلم عليه وعليهم كثيرا اللهم صل على رسولنا محمد وعلى آل رسولنا ونبينا محمد كلما اختلف الملوان وتعاقب العصران وكرر الجديدان واستقبل الفرقدان وبلغ روحه وأرواح أهل بيته من التحية والسلام أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي وأفوض أمري إلى الله إن الله بصير بالعباد وما توفيقي ولا اعتصامي إلا بالله عليه توكلت وعليه فليتوكل المتوكلون ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم صل على رسولنا محمد حتى لا تبقى صلاة اللهم بارك على رسولنا محمد حتى لا تبقى بركة اللهم ارحم رسولنا محمد حتى لا تبقى رحمة اللهم سلم على رسولنا محمد حتى لا يبقى سلام اللهم صل على رسولنا محمد وعلى آل رسولنا ونبينا محمد كلما ذكره الذاكرون وكلما سهى عنه الغافلون اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن سهلا إذا شئت اللهم عملنا بما أنت أهله ولا تعاملنا بما نحن أهله اللهم اجعل هذا العمل خالصا لوجهك الكريم اللهم منصر من نصر الدين واخذل من خذل المسلمين اللهم منصر جيوش المسلمين وعساكر الموحدين واكتب الصحة والسلامة والعفو والعافية علينا وعلى الحجاج والغزاة والمسافرين في برك وبحرك من أمة محمد النجمعين اللهم أخلصنا بخالصة ذكر الدار وجعلنا عندك لمن المصطفين الأخيار اللهم أخلصني بخالصة ذكر الدار وجعلني عندك لمن المصطفين الأخيار رب زدني علما وألحقني بالصالحين رب زدنا علما وألحقنا بالصالحين ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا اللهم رب إني لا أحصي ثناء عليك فأنت كما أثنيت على نفسك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بك يا رب العالمين وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين وذكر بالقرآن من يخاف وعيد 
وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا ولهم عذاب أليم بما كانوا يكذبون وإذا قيل لهم لا تفسدوا في الأرض قالوا إنما نحن مصلحون ألا إنهم هم المفسدون ولكن لا يشعرون وإذا قيل لهم آمنوا كما آمن الناس قالوا قالوا أن أؤمن كما آمن السفهاء ألا إنهم هم السفهاء ولكن لا يعلمون صدق الله العظيم These are ayat from chapter البقرة سورة البقرة Beginning with the ayah number 10 where Allah says في قلوبهم مرض There are disease in their hearts في قلوبهم مرض Then Allah says فزادهم الله مرضا Look what Allah made Allah increased them in their disease Allah increased their disease في قلوبهم مرض They produced these kind of disease in their hearts they accepted it they lived without any problem with that disease and insist on having that disease without attempting to remove it although Allah invited them again and again to remove that disease from their hearts and to be sincere without any doubt we are talking about the hypocrites in this ayat So Allah defined, uh, so Allah give us a definition for their state. He said, this is disease in their hearts. في قلوبهم مرض And they liked it. They are living with that disease without any problem. They are, this is their choice to live with such, a, with such kind of disease. Being hypocrite among the Muslim society showing them belief while in fact they they have uh, evil in their hearts without believing sincerely just to benefit from that society just to have a share from their gains these are the hypocrites في قلوبهم مرض when they insist on being a hypocrite throughout their life or a long time, a while then af uh, after a while Allah does as He did to the deniers Allah takes their hearts back Allah set a seal on their hearts and on their hearing and put a covering on their eyes same things or something like this happens with the munafiqun with the hypocrites Allah increased their disease which found in their hearts and until their hearts will, f will be full with that disease في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا then after that uh, process or after uh, that uh, happened when their hearts will be full with disease then it means they will 
no, they will know, uh, they will not uh, be able to feel their hearts anymore. And this conclusion will be the same with what happened with the deniers. في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا. So after a while, they will not be able to feel that uh, they are hypocrites and that uh, they will not be able to understand in reality like the deniers. They will not be able to hear the truth because Allah caused them hearing that truth throughout their life or long while, but they didn't heed it, they didn't give importance, they didn't give uh, attention, uh, they just denied it uh, deliberately, intentionally, then surely there is a limit, like the limits of the deniers. After that limit, Allah takes their faculties back and then they are just like uh, the da dead people, just like the animals, they are not hearing, they are not seeing, and they are not understanding the truth. We seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from being like them, like the deniers or like the hypocrites. Then Allah says, and for them is a painful torment. So this is the end. You will remember the same ending of the ayah number 7 Allah said in the ayah number 7 Allah has set a seal upon their hearts and on their hearing and there is over their eyes covering then he said plus لهم عذاب عظيم ولهم moreover there is a great a tremendous torment for them so we understood from that ayah that setting up this uh, set a seal setting a seal over uh, uh, their hearts and their hearing and putting a covering over their uh, eyes was a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they didn't use them, they didn't take advantage of these uh, great blessings of Allah Azza wa Jal. So that came as a result of their choice, of their bad choice. So Allah said, this punishment for them in here, in this world, وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ And again, there will be a great torment for them. And here about the hypocrites. Allah makes the same. He says, "Fi qulubihim marad." There is a disease in their hearts. Allah didn't cause that disease. Allah didn't create that disease in their hearts. They are created it. They are pro they produce that disease in the. So they are the reason for that disease. But when they insisted on that disease. زَادَهُمُ اللَّهُ مَرَضٍ Allah is the one who increased it فَزَادَهُ as a punishment فَزَادَهُمُ اللَّهُ مَرَضٍ This is punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal for them because they accepted that disease they, are, they were confident with that disease although Allah invited them to, to remove it Allah said فَلَا تَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْمُتَرِينَ do not be among those who have doubts in their hearts. Go and look for the truth. Increase your knowledge in order to remove that doubts. When kunta fi shak, if you have any kind of doubts, mimanzanna ilayk about what we have descended upon you, fasal dan go and ask. Take an action. Do not stay at that state. Take an action, go and ask. Fas'al. So this is the commandment of Allah Azza wa Jal. We cannot live. We cannot live with such doubts. And seeing that uh, this is uh, somehow 
a type of faith or uh, this is up to faith no faith cannot be reached with doubts belief pure belief should be uh, out of connection out of uh, reasoning and out of understanding out of researching etc في قلوبهم مرض there is a مرض in their hearts فزادهم الله مرضا so this is this comes as a result of their disease in their hearts ف therefore زادهم الله مرضا Allah increased them in disease وله and this is for them here in, uh, in this worldly life plus for them is a painful torment moreover there is to them a painful torment this is the second chastisement or punishment for them and you can see the same wording here like what was with uh, deniers and for them just a difference Allah said for deniers he uh, said uh, for them a great torment and for the hypocrites he says for them is a painful torment why why Allah increased them in the uh, in disease why Allah increased their disease which resides in their hearts bima kan the answer is bima kan yaktibun because of their denying they were lying they lied about the truth they didn't say the truth they just lied to the muslim society just like they just lied to allah azza they were lying and this is the consequence of their lying bima kan yaktibun and the same question why is a painful torment for them the answer is because of their lying so just we learned about the deniers that they covered up the truth they hid it deliberately after being fully aware about it they are the deniers kafaru kafirin Allah set a seal upon their hearts in this world as a punishment بَلْ طَبَعَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهَا بِكُفْرِهِمْ and then in the hereafter he will punish them with a great torment because of their denier so they are the reason their choice is the reason they determined their end their endless life Allah didn't decree for them to be a denier here. If that was the case, then Allah might be a cruel one or an unjust one. And it's unconcealable about the one who created the universe, the heavens and the earth. He is the most merciful. He is the most beneficial, most compassionate one. في قلوبهم مرض there is a disease in their heart therefore Allah increased them in their disease increased their disease and for them is a painful torment because of their lying so lie, lie, lie is uh, is very dangerous Thing. look what Allah gives a punishment for them because of their lie and especially when it occurs uh, in the belief when somebody says that he is a believer while he is a denier uh, the lie here is much worse than any else but generally it's uh, an evil action uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbid us to lie whether to Allah or whether 
to the believers or whether in our family or whether to anyone else. There can be some exception, but I'm talking generally. For them is a painful torment. Because for what they were lying. <coughs> Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, keep yourself away from lying because lying will lead you to deny, will lead you to fisk, to disobey Allah Azza wa Jal. Then that will lead you to be a denier. So these actions will uh, take you to the hellfire, beginning with small lie, so the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, warned us against uh, this kind of behavior. Let's move on to the ayah number 11. Allah says, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ And when it is said to them, and this is, I think, the third ayah about Al-Munafiqun. The first ayah, second, third, this is the fourth ayah about the hypocrites. Allah says, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ As their situation is awake, Allah Azza wa Jal used many ayat in order to describe them for their definition. Allah gave their definition in detail and now we are reading the fourth ayah about the hypocrites. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ And when it is said to them, when they are told, لَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ Do not make mischief in the land. لا تفسدوا في الأرض. Do not make mischief in the land. So they are making mischief in the land. They like mischief because they want to earn money. They want to earn much more money than anyone else. And the best environment for earning uh, money or uh, great money is the environment of facade, mischief, the environment of fight. So they like this kind of environment because they, they will not fight. They will stay behind. They will stay uh, uh, in safety environment. They will just try to sell something to earn uh, in this type of uh, kind of environment. And they will not lose whether the believers will uh, be victorious or uh, the deniers uh, will defeat the believers. In each case, they will earn because they are not belong to the deniers and they are not belong to the believers. In reality, they are different than both. They are not believers and they are not deniers, they are hypocrites. They are between them two. So they like the facade. They will not lose anything. They, they like the mischief in the land. They are going to the deniers and asking them to fight the believers and coming to the believers and say, let us fight the deniers, encouraging them to deny, uh, to fight. Uh, but when Allah أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ قِيلَ لَهُمْ كُفُّ أَيْدِيَكُمْ وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ وَأَعْتُ الزَّكَةَ Allah said about them when they were encouraging the believers to fight the deniers Allah said withdraw they your hands keep silent and just worship your Lord أَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ perform the prayers أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ قِيلَ لَهُمْ كُفُّ أَيْدِيَكُمْ Take back or your, withdraw your hands. كُفُّ أَيْدِيَكُمْ وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ And perform the prayers. وَأَتُوا الزَّكَةِ And give the charity. So do not fight. It means do not fight. Then Allah says, فَلَمَّا كُتِبَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْقِتَالِ But at, at that time they were encouraging the believers to fight. But Allah says, when we decreed fighting or to fight, 
فلما كتب عليهم القتال when Allah made it obligatory for them to fight تولوا they turn away إلا قليلا منهم except some of them a little of them a few of them they turn away they didn't come to to fight they said we have we are ill or we have some problem with our families we cannot attain your army they are the deniers they are the hypocrites they like uh, to produce uh, facade mischief in the land and when they are told they, they are doing this so they are told do not make mischief in the land so look at the ayah the ayah gives you many meaning in just in a single ayah Allah didn't say before this they are causing the facade in the land they are producing facade mischief in the land they are mischievous people but he said and when they are told do not make mischief in land he gave you the both meaning that they were doing this they were they were causing the facade the mischief in the land so the believers said to them said to them do not make mischief in the land وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا they said إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُصْلِحُونَ verily we are but peacemakers we are not making facade we are, we are not causing mischief in the land we are just making uh, peace we are peacemakers we are but peacemakers قَالُوا إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُصْلِحُونَ So they are turning every, everything uh, upside down. They are, they are deniers, but they are showing themselves, pretending to be believers. They are mischievous people causing mischief, but they are pretending to be peacemakers. So this is habitually, they are doing the same thing uh, in every matter. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ So you will not find them saying or accepting yes, we are causing facade in the land. They will just say the opposite. We are peacemakers. قَالُوا إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْلِحُونَ And we know from many ayat that Allah says إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُفْسِدِينَ Allah does not like uh, the mischief people or those who cause mischief in Allah and somewhere else Allah says Allah do not love or do not like the mischief so anyone who caused mischief in any society who produced mischief Allah do not like him because the believers they should be the peacemakers we should contribute uh, as peacemakers in society we should amend ourselves at the beginning and then amend the society, amend those who are around us. Try to amend them, uh, to benefit them, to share our beautiful knowledge with them and to listen to their beautiful knowledge from them, being open-minded and increase the positive things in the society. Until uh, Please, the Creator, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. These are the believers. But if the deniers or the hypocrites making facade, mischief in the land, causing uh, facade, mischief in the land, killing the people, taking their land, taking their wealth, so surely we have to stop them we have to try to stop them beginning with advising them but if they do not accept then we uh, until we, we should fight them to stop them we cannot give uh, the innocent people uh, for them in order to, to uh, kill them so it it's not means that 
the believers cannot use uh, the violence in any case. No. They do not prefer the violence. They do not like it. They do not like the facade, the mischief. They do not like to curse anyone in any case. They like to share their knowledge, to share their belief and to increase beautiful things in themselves and in society and to hear from the others when they try to warn them or to share their good knowledge with them, beneficial knowledge with them and to be free as Allah created each individual here and to be free in their choice as Allah created every individual in this planet. Allah said, لا إكراه في الدين, no coercion in religion. Everyone will have that free will when he wants to make his choice in this uh, life. Then in the hereafter, Allah will question them, surely. And we cannot be violent. But if these people, deniers and the hypocrites, they cause the facade in the land, they kill the people, whether believers or not, if they kill the people and if they steal their wealth and their money and whatever they have, then surely we cannot say as believers, some people killing the others. We, we, we should not involve in this matter. No, Allah says you cannot stay there. You cannot stay silent when you see the unjust things occurs before you. You cannot be silent before the dhulm, the wrong, the unjust. Surely we should stop that tyrant. We should stop that one who wants to kill the others, who wants uh, to harm them, to harm the others, whether believers or not. And we should stop if, the, if some believers try to harm the others or wrong others. We cannot say these people believers, they are from us. We, can, we should not stop them, let them wrong the others, maybe the non-believers. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, Unsur akhaka zaliman aw mazluma. Support your brother, whether he is zalim, he is unjust, he is wrong, doer, or madlum, or he is be wronged. The people said, we understood, or we understand how to support him when he is wronged by anyone else. But how can we support him when he is the one who wronged other, others? The Prophet Muhammad said, prevent him from wronging others. So this is uh, the peace of Islam. This is what Islam is. Prophet Muhammad said, Al-Muslimu man salim al-Muslimuna min yadihi wa lisanihi. The Muslim is that one who is the people is uh, in safety from his hand and from his tongue. Why? Because we know that Allah do not like the fasad. Wallahu la yuhibbul fasad. Allah do not like the fasad. Wa idha qila lahum la tufsidu fil ard. But the hypocrites, they like the fasad. They are the one who produce the fasad. So when it is said to them, لا تفسدوا في الأرض, do not make facad in the land, قالوا, they said, إنما نحن مصلحون. We are just peacemakers. We are but peacemakers. But look what Allah says about them. Let's move on to the ayah number 12. Allah says, ألا إنهم هم المفسدون. Behold, in reality, they are المفسدون. They are the mischievous ones. They are those who produce mischief in the land. Humul Mufsidun. They are 
المفسدون they produce mischief they cause uh, to harm the people ولكن لا يشعرون but they perceive not you will remember the same thing in the ayah number 9 where Allah said وما يخدعون إلا أنفسهم they deceive not but themselves وما يشعرون but they perceive it not and here he repeats the same thing ولكن لا يشعرون they are those who produce who makes who make mischief ولكن لا يشعرون but they perceive not you may ask me again how how when they are not when they do not perceive what they are doing and I will answer with the same thing when they became hypocrite when they made their choice they felt guilty Allah show them how evil they are because of their decision because of their choice how evil is that is that way and Allah called them back to repent Allah invited them to be sincere and warned them from being a hypocrite but they liked this situation they followed the way of hypocrisy intentionally so this disease in their hearts which they produced it after a while when they insist on being hypocrite in this life at the end as a consequence Allah caused their disease in their hearts to increase and it fell it uh, uh, filled their hearts their hearts became full with that disease so they will not be able after that they could not be able to understand what they are doing anymore ولكن لا يشعرون so they perceive not they think that they are doing the best because they finished their test they finished their exam here in this life like the deniers there is a limitation and it's not uh, it's it's not a requirement to be that and with uh, just with the da with dying it can be occur before the death so we have to be uh, fully aware about this matter that when Allah invites us to be sincere when Allah invites us to return to him in repentance we have to hasten to that we should not say I'm young and I have many time and before that before death I can repent to Allah before death you may lose your chance may Allah set a seal upon your hearts before death may Allah take back these beautiful blessings hearing seeing and reasoning same thing happens with the deniers and same thing happens with the hypocrites at the end of the way as a consequence Allah set a seal on their hearts like the deniers so they do not feel they do not perceive verily in reality and this is the statement of Allah so this is the truth they are not peacemakers they are mischievous المفسدون they are those who cause mischief ولكن لا يشعرون but they perceive not أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا واخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته